Welcome to another tutorial from helpvid.net. In our previous tutorial, we demonstrated how to download iTunes. At this stage, it's worth pointing out that we downloaded a fresh installation of iTunes, and if you're following along to this tutorial and you've just kind of picked, come across it and things are looking a little bit different, then there is a good chance you're working off the old version of iTunes. It's very important, the whole reason for this video is iTunes do not do, in my opinion, a very good job of keeping things the same. So from one application to the next, the newer version, there's so much differences and um, unlike other software packages, uh, one to mention is Adobe, who do an excellent job of making things uh, pretty much the same when you open it up there's a couple of new features but as a whole everything's in the same place and everything's pretty much the same but with iTunes they create new menus move things to different places and it really is like learning a whole new thing so whereas Adobe you could follow along to a tutorial if you're using an older version and you would be fine with iTunes, it's a little bit different. You really need to be uh, have the latest version to follow along. How do you know what version you've got? Very simple. You don't even need to get into any settings. The old version of iTunes is a little blue circle like this. And if you can see the little music symbol in the middle here, the newer version is this kind of grey symbol. The older version used a black music stroke. So check see what one you've got um, if yours is a little black symbol then I would recommend just type into Google iTunes and download the new version the previous video showed exactly how to do that so in this video we're going to show how to get our music from our desktop into iTunes and this is something that iTunes have done in the newer version which is pretty good um, now Forgetting about iTunes for a second, the old way we used to do things is I've got a folder open here with all my music in it. So what I would do if I had, let's say, an MP3 player, I would just copy this file, open up my MP3 player folder, and simply paste this file in. Simple as. Very easy. iTunes, totally different. So we're going to open up. We'll just paste that uh, folder there we copied onto the desktop so if you've got your music on an external flash drive an external hard drive this is how to get it from there onto your desktop um, and traditionally most people would have these folders in your little music folder so we'll just keep these here for now we'll close this and we'll open iTunes this is a fresh installation of iTunes and what we can see straight away is a new feature. Go to the iTunes store, obviously to download music, buy albums. You can buy movies, TV shows and apps and all a host of different things. This button is new, scan for media. What this does is it will scan your computer. So before you do this, make sure that in your music folder, is all the music that you want installed in your iTunes. Now, this is new to me, so I've got an external hard drive plugged in just now. In my music folder, I've got one music file, Motown, okay? And in my external hard drive, I've got quite a lot of music. So let's see what iTunes does. Let's see if it hooks up with my external hard drive or only the music folder within my desktop. So we'll scan for media, looks as if it's going to do it quite fast and yeah, pretty much it's took everything off of my hard drive and that was uh, pretty impressive, it done it in an instant, it done it really quick. Um, so it's took not just the music from my desktop but it's took the music from my external hard drive. So. We can sort our music by songs, so we'll just put everything alphabetical. We can sort it by albums, which sometimes is a pain because I tend to only cross over songs that I like. 
so I may have three or four songs from each album so when you're in the car or on the move and you click on an album to search for a particular singer you only get, in my case, three or four songs so the best thing for me to do is to create playlists and this is a really good option so you can create a playlist and let's say from different genres of music so if I've got Motown I may have three four top songs three Commodore songs three of the Temptations four of the Jackson 5 and then rather than listen to all those individual albums it can be quite a pain I can put all them into a little playlist and name the playlist so here we'll just stick with music just now but you can switch over to movies, TV shows and home sharing home sharing lets other people access your iTunes online so your friends could come in and check out your music and so forth let's come back in here to the songs So as you can see it's asking for a password here for Apple or AOL and you can store music in your iCloud. I think it's something like, I've not checked it out, I think it's maybe something like 5 gigabytes or something. So we'll just cancel this just now. I'll come back to our songs. Albums. So let's say we have another album because this scan feature isn't going to be there every time. It's a one set up only. So let's say we have another album. This is where people may uh, struggle. So we'll go into our computer, we'll find an album. I think it's already got this album in there but if it never we would just I'll paste this here so you've got iTunes open you can see your albums artists genres you can see what I was saying I've only got two songs in this album So really a bit of waste of time for me to get into albums. Playlists is the best option for me personally. So I'm going to come back into albums. I'm going to just come down here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to drag this folder accidentally over another folder and for that music to go into another album. So I'm going to come down here to where there's a little blank space. I'm going to grab my album, drag it across and let go. If some of your uh, songs are not the right format, it'll ask if they can automatically convert them. So we'll just click yes, and that's it, transferred that over. I don't think there was a whole lot of songs in it, so it's done it kind of quick. As you can see, here it is here. Time remaining, one minute. Um, so it really depends on how many songs you're bringing over, and it looks as if uh, one of the songs in there was the wrong format, so it's reformatting it, which is pretty good iTunes never done this before, it was a bit of a nightmare if you had to go online and convert all your songs to the correct format before you put them into, I, put them into iTunes. Now you can just drag over and iTunes will convert them yourself. So that's it. To this point, very simple. Um, we now know how to scan our uh, computer. We know if we've got any external devices plugged into that computer the iTunes will automatically scan all devices that are plugged into your computer and install those songs on uh, in your iTunes. So as you can see this might take some time because it looks as if it's converting all the songs in this album. So come across the song, we can just uncheck the ones here that we don't want. Okay, very simple. And as you can see, because I already had 
the Motown album in there and I've crossed it over again it's put all these songs in two or three times which isn't a good feature it would be good if it had a function in there that could determine oh you've already got this song um, it would really save you a lot of space and a lot of room as your collection gets a bit bigger um, you don't really want to be putting the same album on twice uh, or it might be the case that you buy one of these albums that's got multiple different songs on it I think, what do they call them, Now 85 or whatever um, you may already have that particular album so that would be something to look into for the future for iTunes a really good feature will be a, a search function that will be able to tell you if you've got that song already and it would really save you room so guys we'll leave it there for now because it looks as if this is going to take a little while uh, to convert these songs but until the next tutorial please drop by the website that's helpvid.net and until the next time guys please stay safe